everybody. Um, before I get started going through this, let me just um, start out by saying um, <clears throat> I've had a couple of questions, and I should have addressed it in the last video, and I just, you know, got busy creating and forgot. Um, but one of my subscribers um, asked me with regards to how many pages per signature do I use. And, <laughs> you know, not trying to be vague, but it varies. It can be anywhere from like 8 to 15. Why? Okay, well, if I'm doing a journal that I'm going to include a lot of book pages, and I'm just going to give you an example, um, a nature book, for example, I will often have... Um, nature related book pages and so taking that into account in my mind I'm thinking okay some people will journal over book pages I'm aware of that but in my mind I'm thinking okay that's not really writing space so in those instances I would probably lean more towards the 12 to 15 pages per signature um, because often my pages are small, so I sometimes will put one on the bottom and then another one so that you have lots of different um, flaps. It, you know, it, they, they end at different places. It just adds to um, the interest when you're looking through the, the journal, I think. Um, when I would go on you know, less, like 8 to 10, would be if they're predominantly digital downloads and um, the coffee or tea dyed. Um, this is a good example. In fact, I don't even know how many. I'll have to count them here in a minute. But um, this would be one, because I don't have a lot of book pages in this. I've mostly used digitals and um, <laughs> coffee dyed. Okay, so where are we now? Remember how I said I don't like them to be overstuffed? Look, it's getting there. But I'm not worried about it because this one can support. It's it's very sturdy. But yes, this thing is getting massive. So let's just go through where we are now. Um, I'll probably try to do a few little embellishments with you guys. But I think, I hope that this has been useful in that I've kind of showed you the process that I go through and I've tried to point out anything that I thought might be um, useful. Um, okay, so here we go. I've now come back and started adding, you know, different things to it. I put a little tuck spot there. Now I will do a final flip through of this. I'm not going to go through the whole journal now because it's not complete and um, I do want to uh, have a video that's just for the flip through of this. Um, so I've just started adding little things and like this, you know, just making little uh, tags for it, journal cards, and then as I'm going through the journal, I'm always thinking, okay, does it need more? You know, and <laughs> this one got away with me a little bit, I think. Um, so, I'm just, like I said, I don't want to show you all of it. This is the page I think you saw at the end. That was the, I kind of completed that because I'm happy with that. I think any more and it would just be too busy. Um, I then start going through filling in the pockets. I do stitching around any tags or journal cards that I need. And then, you know, the, I guess the very last thing for me would be starting to go through with uh, fabrics and snippets and things. But having said that, if obviously if I did a fabric pocket, that would be at the very beginning because that would be sewn in on the machine. I hope that's making sense. Um, so I've done some more stamping. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. It's just a little tip. Let me get it. Um, if you have already sewn in your signatures and you think, oh gosh, I really wish I would have stamped on that page, this is just another little thing, um, you know, you probably already know it, but I just want to show it for anybody who doesn't. This is, um, 
the dilutions, I don't even know if this is supposed to be for a stamp or not. I don't know, but I picked it up at Hobby Lobby on 75% off, and this has been so useful. Um, if you don't have that, just get the largest acrylic block you can, or anything that's hard. Um, and what I do is I just come in behind, and then I take my stamp, and I can stamp over it, because that way you've got a completely level, because I, you've probably seen, and not all of my stamping's perfect by any means, but you can always tell when you watch other people's journals. Um, if they've come back afterwards, there's usually always markings where they've it's not level. So that's just a little tip um, I thought I'd share with you guys. That, because I don't always, I mean, I try to be as organized as I can, but obviously, you know, like this, this came in later. So that's just something else. Um, any kind of little booklets, you know, obviously I'd go to the to the side and make those. Like I said, I don't want to share too much now because I'm nearing completion, completion on this. So um, I think I had showed you this where I did um, this little embellishment onto that page. Um, I came back through and remember at the beginning when I did the um, the cover tutorial, I had started out with um, a piece, and so from that I went ahead and decoupaged some stuff that I thought would coordinate, and I've now come back and just cut those into strips and backed them with tea dyed paper, and that's made another little journal card for in here. Um, just trying to go through it. Um, and think in terms of anything else that I would want to point out. Um, any little things along the tops, you know, if you're wanting to vary that, you know, add those in. And then just, just going back through then and, and finishing it out yourself. Now I have added a few little flips. And so, um, let me think if there's anything else. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm probably now going to add a few more bits of, um, let me just do something here. And I'll do this on camera. It's going to be boring for you, I'm sure, but um, just in case somebody wants to see, I'm going to add just a little bit of some kind of trim. got this beautiful, isn't that lace gorgeous? It's got the little hearts on it. This is um, some of that. It's French lace is what, um, when I bought it, I was told, and oh my gosh, I, I always forget about it though. I keep putting it in. I've got a couple other drawers that I forgot to show you guys when I did the craft room uh, tour. Um, because it was in that the desk that's falling apart, and I totally forgot to show you guys those drawers, but they are in such a state. But that is where I keep, you know, the, the brown desk, that's where I keep all the um, other ribbons that don't fit up here on the rod, and then um, the smaller laces. I totally forgot to show you guys all that. And then my books are out. They call it a... Uh, let me get this right. They call it an airing. I think it's an airing cabinet here, and it's 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 what we would call a closet, but it's a warm um, closet because the, that's usually where the boiler's at, so it stays nice and cozy. Well, that's where I got all my books because um, <laughs> Paul has added shelves in there, so it's worked out really nice because. England's very damp, so that's a great place for those books because it's completely dried them out, you know. Because sometimes when you buy these things from car boots, they've drawn a lot of moisture. So, um, okay, so yeah, just add a little bit of lace there. Um, 
this, I think I'm just going to leave that because um, it just serves as another little pocket. Just trying to think if I want to do. Let me see. I want to have another look back through and see if I'm happy with. Let's see, I want a bit more. Let me. Let me just go ahead and start. This is where I start coming back with my paper clips. I know I want to do something there. Um, I want to do a little something on that one. See, it's gonna. This is gonna be a really big journal. Um, because it's all going to add bulk to it. I'm going to leave these plain because it is really starting to get full. Happy with that. Very happy with that. This one, I feel like it needs another little something along here. So let's make something along here. And you guys can see. It's. I mean, you've seen it all. Everybody, you know... But let's make that very quickly. Um, so this was some leftover scraps I've got. Get my little tearing ruler here. get a little bit of lace cut. I'm just going to make this about a half halfway so I won't have it the full length of the page. So I'm just going to get all this kind of ready and then I will take it over and run it through the machine and stitch that down and then we'll just glue it to the page. That is such beautiful paper there. Perfect for um, collaging with. So thank you, Andrea, for that. Okay, I'm going to run to the machine and get this stitched and then uh, be back. Okay, so I've run the, that through the machine. And I think I'm going to see if I like that. And then I thought, this is Tracy's tiny embellishments. I thought I'd cut those people out and put that in there and see if I like that. Yeah, I like that. I think that'll look nice. And then just have that along that um, <coughs> edge. Just for something a little bit different. So, there's a show here that's just started back. And I think it's called Dancing with the Stars in the U.S. I don't know, but we it's called Strictly Come, Dan Strictly Come Dancing here. And that's just started back this weekend. And oh my gosh, I love that show so much. 
I get so excited when it's time for that to come back on. Because every time it starts, I get the bug to go and take... Um, I want to learn how to do jive dancing. And every year I say, oh my gosh, I'm going to sign up for dancing. Um, and I never do. Because it's funny, it, it, it's such a shame, but when I go home, because I, you know, sometimes I try to go um, around Christmas or Thanksgiving, of course, it's just all kicking off, you know. So that's the reason we've never joined it, but oh gosh, I sure want to. Because especially the jive, it's good exercise as well, but I would love to be able to do that and the, um, oh, what's the other one? Lindy Hop. We took one class um, years ago, and I had the best time. Uh, but Paul, bless his heart, he's he's not got a lot of rhythm, so he I don't think he enjoyed it that much. But oh man, I so want to go back and take another. And it was fun. Everybody was nice. It was such a good time. Um, out. I really wish I could have carried on with it. So let me just show you how that's looking. It's I've not turned it into a tuck spot because, like I said, I feel like there's enough um, pockets in there. But I'm very happy with how that's come out. So that's the sort of thing, guys. Now I'm just kind of going through now and um, seeing if I feel like it needs to be stamped anymore. Do I need any more um, pockets? Have I got plenty of tucks? Do I want to make any more booklets? Um, I have made one little tag booklet, and you'll see it when I do the final flip through. Now here is something else. Let me do something on this. This is a music page pocket, uh, piano roll. Sorry, yeah, piano roll um, paper that I've turned into a pocket. So let me do something with that, because that does look a little bit plain. I like that. I think I'll do, I'll just put that on there. And, uh, so yes, I'm, once I get this complete, I'll, um, I've got uh, so many journals I need to get done. I'll give you a little peek here in a minute. I think I'm actually going to make this a little tuck and we'll just put a tiny tag in that. Just because I just kind of want something sticking out. Okay, let me get a small tag for that. These little shipping tags, those are from <coughs> the Papered Soul, Laura. She's got a shop on um, Etsy, and these are just so sweet, and I'm going to try to get some of those ordered before I go home and have those sent somewhere, because I'm almost out of them. I've been so stingy with those, because I knew I didn't have that many, and I didn't want to run out, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just... 
So these are um, little Pipitray ink stamps, and I'm think I think they were called Button Button. I could be wrong on that, because every time I show these. Um, I get asked where I bought this stamp set from, and that's Paper Tray Ink. Um, it's a U.S. company, and they will not ship internationally, as far as I know. I don't think that they will. But I'm thinking I'm going to put that there. That's really pretty. Yeah, let me just do that. <clears throat> Okay, let me get something. Um, and I'll come back uh, and find something to put in there, but I just want to get a little tag in that for the moment. Okay, so what else do we need? Again, this is um, a freebie from Artie Mays. Aren't these beautiful? And that's just going to work perfectly in that uh, pocket. So I've used a lot of um, Andrea's freebies in this journal, along with, you know, some of the other um, <coughs> ladies I've designed for. I, like I said, I've had some stuff left over, but I've tried to point out, you know, anybody that uh, I had used to try to share. Such a pretty little library card. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Loving how that's coming out. So I know I had pinned a couple other places I'm going to need to go back to. So, yeah. So that really, yep, these. I've got a couple places still. I want to add a few more things. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do that. I'll do a little snippet collage, and then um, and then the next time you see this will be a flip through because um, I don't think there's much else I can share with you guys, really. Um, it's Everybody's got a different way of doing things, as you can see. And... Hopefully, you know, I'm just hoping that you found something that you feel like you can um, use from this little series. Let's see, what can I put on there? This was some little, remember my um, curtain? This was all left over, and I thought, well, I'm not going to get rid of it because I really think this is going to be pretty in, because I've got a few little pieces, and I thought, well, that would be really pretty in a snippet, I think, but I don't know. I might not use it on this particular one. Let me see. Yeah, I won't do that. I'm going to use, that was a little bit of a ruffle I had. And I just cut that little bit off, so now I'm going to sew 
a button I don't know, maybe I don't want, I don't know, do I want to use that? I like it, but I want to see more of it. I think like that. Okay, let's stitch that together. So, um, a couple of, um, I'm trying to address things that I've thought of. <clears throat> you know, questions that have come about over, um, the last couple of videos. Um, so as they're coming to my mind, I'm trying to just answer these um, on here. So, one of the things, you know, it, uh, there's a lot of curiosity on <laughs> how quickly to I create journals. And as I said, I'm, I'm not quick. That's the, um, the part that's, um, you know, I think people don't, <clears throat> see everything that's going on. But <sighs> while we're on that topic, I'm going to sit down for a minute, guys. I'm tired. Um, so while we're on the, <clears throat> the topic of this, and this is, if you if you just do this as a hobby, um, this probably, you know, won't be of interest to you, but there's been several people who want, you know, are talking about for selling journals. <laughs> um, there's a lot of time, a lot of time, and this isn't every day, but most days I work 12 hours, and that's usually set six days a week. Now when I first started, and this is no exaggeration, I was putting in 12 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so, you know, if you are a person who is thinking about getting into this and thinks it's easy to, to do, it's not. But it can be done. <laughs> it's just how much time you're willing to put into it. And it's, this is a fraction of the work and you know yourself you can see how long it does take to put a journal together but this is not all that goes into it it's then um, promoting it you've got to then you know your videos and that's why I'm saying it is not an exaggeration guys I do work usually 12 hours a day six days a week um, if I didn't do it, I could not pay my bills, and that's just the truth. So um, I would just say anybody who's got small children, wow, you know, you, I think you, you're going to find it very difficult. It, now, if, if it's not your primary income, that's different. If this is just something that you're doing you know, just to make money to afford yourself a nice vacation, well, that's a whole different scenario. You can just dip in and out. But if you are like me, and I know there's others, I'm not the only person who relies on this to pay their bills, um, just be prepared that there is a lot of work goes into it. So I just kind of, as I'm thinking of things that have come about, I'm trying to address it in the videos. So I hope it's not going to bore you guys too much. I just... You know, some some of the people want to know these things, and I'm not. I'm certainly not trying to discourage anybody because <clears throat> I love what I do. Like I said to you before, this is 
I'm just so happy that I'm at a point in life that I can do something I enjoy and I'll forever be grateful for that opportunity. So, let's see. What else do we need? I've still got a few things to do, guys, but as I said, I don't want to um, to take too long on this because I need to get this journal in the shop and I don't want to show everything. I want to have a flip through with a few surprises. So, um, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to address it in the next video because um, the next video you'll see is a flip through, but you can see it's getting pretty big. <laughs> um, but I will leave it there, guys. Um, I hope that that has helped some. And like I said, when you see this again, it will be completely finished. So you guys take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.